You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to episode 21 of the Clock Cleaners podcast. At least I'm we Keith. hope so. I'm Matt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody's got a little uh, a little cold over there. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a little rough. Yeah, that's right. It wasn't as rough as Monday Night Raw was. Yeah, it was, uh, it was abysmal. It, yeah, <laughs> and it's not like it this was... This is the notes. It's my favorite part. It's like 10 things, and it's like this big. Oh. Okay, now we know how big it is. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> it wasn't that it was bad. It, it was, was just boring. Yeah, it was boring. Nothing happened. Because it was just rinse and repeat, and uh, that's really what we get each week with Raw. Yep. Um, we had some promise in a tag team title match, yeah. which uh, it could have. we could have had new champions. We, we could have had a heel turn with Bobby Roode, but instead we had Drake Maverick pissing on Bobby Roode's robe. Yeah, that was, that was it. That was interesting. That was it. I don't, I don't really get that. No. But. So um, we... Uh, Pretty much have a repeat of last week with Elias replacing Braun Strowman yes. and getting beat yep. up by Corbin, he, Lashley, and McIntyre. He got tuned up. Yeah, tuned <laughs> up. There you go. And then the main event was Finn versus Baron Corbin, which we haven't seen before. I know, right? It's only like the seventh time they've wrestled uh, or have been in the ring together, even if it was a tag match or a six-man, since like June yeah, on and- Raw. It's but, probably been more than that. No, it was, I went are, on to. The, you, I, I looked it up. And, okay. I mean, I could have you know, been Missed, special, yeah. yeah. Um, but I only saw six, seven times. And, really? Yeah. I feel like it's been more than that. Yeah, I think it's just because no one cared about it in the first place, and uh-huh. then when you saw it again, it kind of stuck out. I guess so. You know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then that was the main event, and uh-huh. then the same thing happened to Finn Balor. Yeah. And well, they I mean, mean, at least they bookended the show. Yeah, it's true, <laughs> but they um, they added Drew like and made it a handicap match. Oh yes, right? yes, yes, Which that's made right. No sense. No, no, no. Um, I guess. Oh, he hit Elias with the uh, Alabama slam right on oh, the yeah, steps. Oh yeah, that was steps, cool. Yeah, that was cool. Um, well, yeah, there's nothing wrong with anything Drew has done. No, but he's like <sighs> surrounding himself with losers. Yeah, it's really funny because. With uh, Lashley wearing the glasses and the vest, it's kind of making it seem like they're trying to put the three-man band back together, <laughs> except for with different people. Oh, my God. It would be awesome if Jinder and uh, Heath Slater came out and be like, you guys are stealing our gimmick. Yeah, it's, it's gimmick only a matter of infringement. I have a lawyer right here. <laughs> they're, run- they're running out of ideas, so they got to... It's not bad. they got to cycle eventually, yeah. I guess. <clears throat> that would be pretty funny, actually. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it was like, what? 45 minutes the first segment i basically. thought it was just yeah it was no nah, i think it was a little less than that i think it was like a half hour well I'm, it felt I, a lot longer. i'm guessing off of watching the Hulu yeah, version yeah because it not a whole lot happened so yeah. it had to have taken a lot of time yeah and then uh, again one thing that people have criticized for years and years is the heel authority figure yeah and now baron got- corbin <laughs> put alexa bliss in charge of the women's division uh-huh and then uh, she spoke with Bailey and Sasha and said that we were going to have a Q&A qu- session in the ring with the two of them. I love how Bailey was like, oh, better not be like, this is your life with yeah. you. Hey, she, she knows. Yeah, they know. <coughs> they have become self-aware. Yep. What do we do? <laughs> um, I mean, that wasn't that bad, but it ended up uh, having Mickey James. Oh, yeah, it was so dumb. Dana Brooke and who else? It was uh, and Alicia Fox. Alicia Fox come out and attack Bailey and Sasha. Granted, Bailey and Sasha ended up standing tall. Yeah, but... But Dana Brooke teamed with them yes, at Stargate. Yes, did. It didn't make any sense. <laughs> and they won, right? I would I assume. I think so. Yeah. Like, what's the point? Yeah. I mean, at Starcade, Bray Wyatt made his return. People... Th- well, to be fair... Literally nothing on Starcade was mentioned on Raw or SmackDown. No, no, I know, but uh, but I'm saying that I think a lot of people were expecting him to show up at Mon- on Raw, maybe uh-huh. to you know help assist Finn Balor because of the the uh, oh the thought. demon versus the sister Abigail thing. No, 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 no. no, no well, no, 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 have have like oh them, them as team together together with something like that i guess that could have that could have been a way to do it but a lot of people were suggesting that bray be the one to replace braun against corbin but that it really doesn't didn't make any sense, sense. now i think because i heard they, that too yeah, but they, it just didn't 
they're talking that, or they're making it seem on the show that Braun will be back in time and the match is still going to happen, but well, that's very I, unlikely. I, th- I think they're trying to make it seem like, actually, it really seems like the opposite. Okay. It seems like they make it, because Corbin wants the match to happen, right. but Braun not show up, so he wins. Uh, yeah, yeah. So they're trying to push it so that it's going to be a surprise if he comes back. I got you. No, that's fair. That makes so sense. That's, that's that's how it looks like what they're doing. So, But who the hell knows with the injury? Because it's a legitimate injury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, but okay. I think he had... I mean, the promo was apparently taped prior. Oh, his, uh, the yeah. one that Braun did? Yeah, oh, that's I think and Dean, too. But yeah. I think he had surgery, actually, Monday. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, and they so. announced on SmackDown last night that he had surgery, I believe. Yeah. Um, Just to throw people off. I mean, we learned that, speaking <coughs> of Braun, that Kurt Hawkins would be re- replacing him in the Mixed Match Challenge. Yeah, it's one hell of a punishment, that's yeah. for sure. Poor Ember Moon, because yep. uh, we saw, what was it, Ember Moon faced Alicia Fox. I guess you didn't, that wasn't on the... It was not, but I knew yeah. about it. And uh, obviously Ember won won there, yeah. so we knew they were going to lose on the uh-huh. Mixed Match Challenge. Yep. And then, like, it was weird, because, well, I mean, they'd done this before, but Jinder was out there with Alicia Fox, and then all of a sudden it segment, or went into a No Way Jose Jinder Mahal match. Oh, really? Yeah, that's how they did it. <laughs> it was like a perfect segue into it. I guess that makes sense. But, uh, yeah, because Kurt Hawkins was celebrating uh, Ember's win and uh, scaring the crap out of her. I, I guess he needs anything he can get. It's true. So. But, obviously, they weren't victorious nope. last night, and now they're out of the uh, the thing. Yep. Um, Such a shame. Yeah. So, yeah, where, where do you think, uh, what do you think is going to win it? The uh, Mixed Match Challenge. Yeah. Because AJ has been officially replaced, right? Which makes no sense. I guess once you're out of it, you're out of it. That's yeah, the way it seems. I guess. Well, I, I get. Well, Sasha got taken out mm-hmm. at the beginning, mm-hmm. so that didn't make any sense for her to come when back. She came back. Yeah, yeah. Um, <coughs> who else left? Uh, Alexa. Braun. <laughs> but Alexa they were hasn't come back. Yeah, Kevin Owens. Oh, yeah, that's right. That whole team mm-hmm. got replaced. Owens was replaced. Uh, yeah, Owens hasn't come back, though. Nope. So, I guess AJ was the only one who was capable of... I guess. It was just a one-night thing. Maybe they took him out because they didn't want AJ to get the number 30 spot. It's possible. Because he's probably not going to... He could not be in the Rumble. Yeah. That, that would make yeah. sense. But I, I think uh, Finn and Bailey would make sense to win. Oh, either either them or Charlotte and... Um, Jeff? Yeah. Yeah. Those two would make the well, most logical sense. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that when we get to SmackDown. It's not going to be Naomi and, and uh, Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy, yeah. Um, and it's not, not going Rusev to be... and Lana. No. It's not going to be R-Truth and no. Carmella. So <clears throat> it, I guess those two would be the yeah. teams. right. Because it's certainly not going to be um, Jinder and Alicia. No, and you would assume it'll probably be face versus heel team. Eh, probably. No. Yeah. So. It's generally how they market it. Yeah. Um, and then we had the Seth Rollins Open Challenge, which everybody... We had, like, on Twitter, I believe, uh, maybe Sunday and Monday, whenever it was announced that he was doing one. Yeah. Um, you saw Mustafa Ali, Cedric, even Ricochet post up about it. Yeah. Nope! Fucking Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> Out of all the people, you could have had Kevin Dunn himself come down, and I would have been fine with it. Michael Cole could have gotten... Out from behind the announce table. Actually, I would have like, liked Michael Cole doing That would have been fine, but no, Dolph Ziggler. Or have Renee Young challenge him for the yep. title. Yeah, hey, that would have been fine, too. Um, <laughs> I did Because we had Dean. originally heard reports that Ziggler was injured. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, oh, well, I, I, I I believe it, but I... Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, maybe because of the way he got eliminated in Survivor Series, I think that sounds right. No, I don't Cause know. Because he, he was in and out very quickly. Yeah, maybe. Like, he wasn't eliminated as fast as Joe, but he didn't right. do much. Well, um, I mean, you could have even put, brought Mojo out for God's sake. It's true; he's done it before. Yeah. So, yeah, whatever. Jeez, it's it, yeah, it's bad. Uh, I, and I, I didn't even bother watching the match. I, like I, had, the match I, wasn't. It bad. was. I know. And it's that's what you're gonna get between the two of them. It's but, just frustrating because it's the same stuff right, over, right, and right. over and over. And I over. mean, granted, we do it to ourselves. So <sighs> what? Get frustrated? Yeah. Well, you. you watch and expect them to do something that they're yeah you know they're not going to do we should know better yeah exactly i get it Uh, yeah it's bad 
Um, and probably the worst part of the night was that Naya promo. Oh, yeah, it's bad. That was just... And then... And, and the content was bad, <laughs> the delivery was bad, and, yeah. you know, it's... And it is funny because Nia's like trying to instigate Rhonda, mm. but Rhonda comes out like she's happy and well, they, excited. And they stuff. book themselves in a corner with this anyway, with the whole Rhonda. Like, really, you have Rhonda against Becky and Charlotte, and now you're gonna try to do Rhonda versus Nia Jax, which Nia everybody has lost to Charlotte on a few occasions. Yeah, I don't think she's faced Becky, but. Yeah, I don't know. No, but no, not even that. But I mean, it's like, you yeah, know, you go from even... here to yep. down here. It's true. Although they kind of lucked out with uh, the Becky thing because uh, you were kind of making Ronda look like a heel. Right. And well, going into Survivor Series with Becky right, being right, right, uh, right. The over. Well, that was the thing is she's very. It flip flops every time, like you said. At Survivor Series, we saw her. We, you know, look like a heel. But she was supposed to. But right, no. She was but then booed. she comes out, and it's like she comes out uh, when Naya was out there, and she's all smiles, and then she stops the entrance to, you know, shake hands with the fans and everything, and you'd think that this was such yeah. a big deal that she would get right in the ring, and yeah. they'd have their uh, their <laughs> moment, so, so to speak. And that, that's part of the reason why it wasn't a very well-translated no. product. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she comes out and then she threatens Naya, challenges to a match. Naya's like, no. no. And then t- to me, I just like, washed my hands finally. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that was funny. <laughs> so I just she, got the she, blood off of my hands from when I punched Becky Lynch. Yeah, so obviously she doesn't do that very often. Apparently not. So um, yeah, Tamina like, like kind of inches closer. So, and then Italian music's hit. And then she comes down, but then she gets blindsided by the riot squad. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what was the point of all this? I, I don't know. I don't know. I, except don't know. except we're probably going to have a tag team match between Natalia and um, Ronda uh, against the, the yeah, riot squad next some, week. Or something to that and extent. Naya is going to be on so, commentary. All right. We were at Evolution. They handed us signs for women's tag team champs. Nothing since then. Nope. Not a word, not a mention, not not even a sign in the audience. I noticed. And there's no way they're gonna announce anything before the end of the year. No, it's just very weird how yeah. it went from something they seem to be pushing so hard to. Yeah, nothing. this this went from something that we thought that they could announce at Evolution to right. something that won't be, if it's going to happen, won't uh, happen until the WrestleMania. Yeah. Because it's Possibly. not going to happen at the Rumble, and no, there's really nothing big know. coming up before then. Yeah. So they might have a tournament that leads to WrestleMania, but it will not be Maybe. before then. I don't know. If they do it. Yeah. So You've got a lot of question marks there. Yeah. Uh, Although they did establish that Sasha and Bailey are a tag team. Yeah. Which yes. I, I know doesn't really mean a whole lot, but... Mm. But they would make <sighs> sense, too. Oh, they're, I mean, they're going to be the first champions if they do do it. Yeah. There's no other option mm-hmm. unless they want to get a lot of heat on the Iconics. Yeah. That that, that would be the only other You saw Biggie wearing the Iconics shirt last night. I did not. But yeah, he was. Was this during um, the match with Kofi? No, no, no. It was during uh, the Jeff Hardy thing. Oh, yeah. okay. That's yeah. funny. Um, oh, and <sighs> you also missed on the Hulu version. We saw the revival versus the Lucha House Party again. Yep, yeah, and a Lucha House Party rules. No, it's not only Lucha House Party. Well, I guess it's it's that, and it's the Lucha rules too. So you can just roll out of the ring, and another person comes in. When we were watching that match at the the women's pay per view, I don't remember what the what they were calling it. Which one? The one that we went to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like Lucha Rules. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, what the hell does that mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I looked it up, and like, that's pretty <laughs> interesting, because if you can get out of the ring, you're tagged mm-hmm. out. Somebody, yep. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, But yeah, <laughs> I guess, I don't know, maybe that was, uh, they'd gone over that on... No. Uh, 205, I, no, on 205 oh, Live. Okay, I was going to say. Because I usually, can... if there's some sort of stipulation, they beat it into the ground. Yeah. I mean, you know, the Royal Rumble, every battle royal you it's true. hear about it. but You must go over the top rope. Both feet must yep. touch the ground. But Lucha rules, nope. No mention of it. Nope. And, I mean, <laughs> the commentary was awful, too. And confused. the match was not good because there was a, a handful of 
what look to be botches. Well, you have you have three guys that jump around all over the mm-hmm. place, and two guys whose gimmick is literally to not do that. Yeah, the small Haas guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's something. It's, it doesn't make any sense, nope. and it's not going to go anywhere. Nope. But yeah, this is pretty much just to bury the revival even more. Yeah, because there's really no other point to it. And um, <clears throat> all right, so they're hyping Lars Sullivan coming to the main roster you like heard him. about all the nonsense going on about him uh i guess he was a part of a bodybuilding forum and he was posting yeah, a whole bunch of controversial yeah. stuff which i mean i feel like first off he's done nothing in nxt to warrant no nothing at a call up no. second it's the authors of pain 2.0 no it's braun Strowman point five. Yeah, but I mean, he's a bad version of Braun. Yeah, Stone. I guess so because I mean, there's I don't I don't know if there are any good qualities to. No. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He doesn't have the mic skills. He's just a big. He's not even really that big. Hmm. He's bigger than the average NXT star, who is already smaller Small. than yeah. the average yeah, WWE they... star. Because he's smaller than True McIntyre, if mm-hmm. I think. Like obviously he's, he's just bulkier. Wide. But I think he's shorter than than Drew. Right. And he's really not that big. He's just bigger than Ricochet and Adam Cole. Adam Cole's really small. <laughs> yeah. So it's not like it's really that hard to do. That's true. So he was shorter than Velveteen Dream. Mm-hmm. I know he's really tall, but he's also really thin. Yeah. So. <clears throat> but I, I don't understand the push unless this is another... Um, I can't remember his name. Dan Math. Oh, Dan Math. Math. <laughs> Where Wait, Samoa like, Joe took him out, right? Yeah, he did. He <laughs> came out. He was all ready for his, uh, his debut. Yeah. And then Joe seen. just comes out, chokes him out because he's I looking never for Nakamura. Saw him again. Well, he's he's still around. Is, well, I, they, they, I've heard him mentioned before. Yeah. Um, but I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past them because they really pushed that Dan Matha they stuff. They did, out. yeah. It was really funny. They did. So I I wouldn't be entirely surprised if I, look, I'm going to make a guess now. If Lars Sullivan ends up on Raw... He will. Well, Do we the big sweaty men go? Well, I guess that's true. But if he ends up on Raw, mm-hmm. I guarantee he comes out and gets laid out by Drew McIntyre. <laughs> I guarantee that's what's going to happen. Maybe. But if he goes to SmackDown, I think they might actually be considering him a yeah. legitimate threat. Well, I mean... Yeah. I think if Finn does win the Mixed Match Challenge, you have him win the Rumble and go to SmackDown. And face um, Dan Bryan, Bryan. Yeah, something That'd like be that. cool. Something it different. It completely ruins my plans. No, yeah. <laughs> that would be cool. Well, the whole thing... All right, so now let's move over to SmackDown. So I guess last week they had a dark match where The Miz was the face and uh, Daniel Bryan was the heel. Yeah. And this week, Miz is still in heel character. No, wrong. The Miz is lovable bad guy i guess so that's not a heel i guess he's so. a lovable jerk all right so correct me if i'm wrong <sighs> but maybe a couple months ago we had the same interaction right where the miz said he could beat any member of the new day yeah yeah okay yeah. and then he faced kofi kingston uh-huh. and i think it was sean ross Sapp that posted on twitter that this is the 46th time the two of them had had a singles match well, to be fair, <laughs> I know they've been in there they, for the two a while. Of them feuded over the U.S. title, the <laughs> yeah. IC title. I know, no, I, I'm just saying yeah. it's you know we complain about things that happen a couple of times on Raw, and but, then see this is probably the freshest thing that's ever happened. Mm-hmm. That's happened 46 times, though. You know, I guess I mean? yeah, because both of them completely have reinvented themselves mm-hmm. since. Yeah. The, the majority of oh, these matches. What are you talking about? Your plans are out the window Why? for WrestleMania. Why? Because Shane's going to face The Miz. It, supposedly. <sighs> There's time. Yeah, there is time and, for them to build it up. And fingers to be crossed. <laughs> uh, why? But, okay. Shane versus AJ Styles. Yeah. Shane versus The Undertaker. Right. Shane versus who do you face? The, oh, he teamed with Daniel Bryan to face Kevin Owens and James. Yeah. Why the Miz? There's nothing to gain from facing the Miz, except for wasting the Miz. That's only <laughs> that's all there is. AJ had nothing to do, so it kind of made sense. Right. The Undertaker literally had nothing to do, so it made sense. But <sighs> Shane had no reason to be in the match with either. Shane of those doesn't two. need to wrestle anymore. <laughs> he needs to stop. 
He needs, needs to, to be accidentally a sweaty man do, somewhere else. He needs to do one too many um, coast to coast, <laughs> snap his leg in half, and then <laughs> be done with it. He needs to learn. To, he needs to stop. Why? So then he can be a pirate. That's a fine. Leg. That'd be funny. <laughs> Paul Birchall again. <laughs> Arr. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Yeah. So SmackDown was better than Raw. It was. Not um, a whole lot of. Uh, challenge there no. but it was better um i guess because charlotte represented smackdown so well uh-huh. she gets a title match at tlc we have good news actually before that that becky, becky is, is back. back she is yes so she will be wrestling mm-hmm. um i guess she's probably cleared now yeah the first match will probably be on uh, yeah which is fine you don't yeah. need to go back right no. away but, but if but... they do just have squash matches go on uh-huh. um <sighs> And the rest of the women's roster came out and said, you know, Charlotte keeps getting these handouts, yep. getting title shots. And then, well, Mandy came out and she said well, that, you know. It was the entire heel. heel. Right, the first. And Mandy complained about, you know, her leaving Absolution and then her giving her PCB friends uh, title ti- shots. Yeah, title shots. And then then the face team came yeah, out and was... said, for once, we agree with them. Yeah. Was, I don't know why they had Naomi lead the charge. They probably should have had Carmella do it. Which is funny because they were just all chanting for Asuka anyway. Yeah, but I, I, I think it probably would have yep. not done happened if they did uh, mm-hmm. Carmella talking. Because Naomi stumbled around. Yeah, it didn't matter. But, um, but yeah, Paige makes a battle royal to determine who will be the third person in the mm-hmm. DLC Which match. is nice because it adds something to <laughs> Becky and Charlotte, which we've seen since SummerSlam. Well, also that... That um, and last woman standing match. Yeah, it was basically a TLC match. Yeah, so it, <laughs> it would just have the same match again. Right, so right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A- Adding absolutely. someone to the match definitely Makes helps. It, yes. And then uh, we have the Battle Royal as the main event. Uh-huh. Comes down to Asuka and... Well, we'll call it Daria, to, to, that's her to name. be fair, it came down to the only four peop- five people it could have been. Because yeah, the final Naomi, five was Naomi, Mandy Rose, uh, Asuka... Sonya and, and Car- Carmella. No, Carmel? Yeah, and they were the last five. Yeah. So Carmella gets eliminated. Mm-hmm. Um, Asuka's on the outside with Mandy. No, it was knocks Mandy. Naomi. Oh, Naomi's yeah. on the outside with Mandy. Yeah. Naomi knocks out Mandy, um, and then Sonya comes over and knocks out Naomi, who's on the outside already. Right. And then um, Sonya and uh, Asuka fight on the outside. Mandy tries to get involved for whatever reason because she's kind of fighting with Sonya at the same yeah, time. Right, but Oscar but Oscar kicked her off. I, yeah, for a second I was like, no, they're not going to do this. It, it wouldn't they? make any. Unfortunately, Sonya would not be the the upset one. It yeah. doesn't make it makes so little sense for right. her. Mandy would be a little more sense because she's kind mm-hmm. of the one pushing. Yep. Um, like Naomi would make sense. Carmella kind of doesn't that would just be a rematch from SummerSlam. so there wasn't a whole lot of options no 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 but going into it it, like it had to be oscar yeah so (sighs) that gives us the triple threat match at tlc i mean there's a possibility oscar wins the title it's not going to happen okay there's a possibility oscar could win the title you have charlotte win the rumble (laughs) charlotte faces ronda because you know that's what they're gonna push Uh uh-huh and then becky just has a rematch with Asuka. I was going to say, you know, they don't need to... It doesn't matter what... As long as Charlotte doesn't win, she could still win the Rumble. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, it really true. wouldn't matter if Asuka has the yeah, title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if then anything, it's more with... likely if Asuka doesn't have the title. Yeah. Because th- then she would have the possibility. It's like, well, we had this match last year. But there's also... Oh, we got a WrestleMania rematch from last year at WrestleMania again this year yeah, with yeah. Charlotte and Asuka. So. Well, that's, that's what I mean. There's, so if Asuka yeah. wins, you're probably more likely to do that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> that's a good point. All right. So point. this next thing I was a little confused about. Because they open up the segment saying that the bar went on Twitter and said they were looking for competition. Open, an open challenge, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, was this not a title match? Non-title match. I, I could have sworn they said it was I a title match. I was getting a drink when this match happened. Uh-huh. And I come back, and I was like, all right, so who won? And she's like, the Usos. And I said, oh, is it, they won the championship? No. I was like, oh, I thought yeah, this was they, an open chat. I could have swore it was a title match. So, because I even wrote in, in my notes mm-hmm. that I guess the Usos are the champs now. Yeah. And then 
they left and, and they that made was the it. titles. Huh. And I'm like, oh, I guess not. So what happened with the big show? Did they show footage? They showed backstage footage mm-hmm. from, I think, earlier that day. Right. Quote, unquote. Saying that Cesaro was saying, oh, we don't need you anymore. Okay. And then the big show kind of just left. That was it. And they punched him, right? I think he so. Punched oh, yeah, Cesaro. He, knocked, he knocked out Cesaro. That's what it was. I think I saw something on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, that. That, that was the only reason why. Anymore. So, which I guess was true. I don't know. This, this is just, I don't know if they're going to. Just have the bar lose to the Usos at TLC? Or, I don't know. I was reading a stat that said this is the first time the bar faced somebody besides the New Day on SmackDown since September. It makes sense. I know. It's just crazy. Uh, yeah. Cause, but I guess the bar went away for a while, didn't they? They did. Yeah. Because they lost the titles and then they disappeared. Yeah. And then they got... Well, no. They, they came to SmackDown, but they didn't wrestle on Yeah, SmackDown that's right. For a while. That's right. <laughs> And then they came back, and they've been feuding with the New Day mm-hmm. since then because the New Day had the titles. They finally won yeah. them back, and then they, the New Day went for them again. Mm-hmm. So, <sighs> um, so I guess I mean, it seemed like they built a bunch of stuff on SmackDown, at least. Uh, well, I guess Shinsuke and Rusev is gonna be. I guess so. Something. I don't know. They kind of buried Rusev a little. A little bit. Because so, this was supposed to be a U.S. title match, or was I, it? I think it was just supposed to be a match. A match? And it was supposed to be Rusev versus Shinsuke. Yeah. Shinsuke comes out, gets a full entrance. Rusev comes out. Uh, I, I think they're about to announce the... Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe it was a title match. Yeah. So they're announcing Rusev and uh, Shinsuke Kinshasa's him. or Twice, something. right? Well, he hits him when Rusev's not paying attention. Right, right, right. Then right. he throws him out of the ring, and then uh, Nakamura goes to leave, and then he runs back down and hits, hits him, him with the Kinshasa yeah, I again. Gotcha. And then he just leaves. Yeah. Um, so, and this was interesting that we celebrated the Jeff Hardy's 20th anniversary in WWE, but they said on SmackDown Live, I think, didn't they? No, they said his 20th year in oh, WWE, okay. which is obviously his 20th year incorrect. On yeah, obviously. Because if you go with when he debuted, hmm. it's before it's like 20 years ago. 94. And if you go with how long <laughs> he's been in the company, it's less than 20 yeah. years. So it's oh well, actually it might not be it less might actually but the the twentieth anniversary part doesn't make any yeah, sense well, it doesn't matter <sighs> so but yeah which is funny because yeah you would think Matt would have been there or something like that I too. thought Matt was coming back last yeah. night yeah. I I really did that would have made sense so, but I guess not um but they have pictures of him when he's younger they did a nice yeah. promo package and I said, yeah it was, it was good yeah. Uh, it's funny yeah. because you watch some of those clips. You're like, "Damn, Jeff looked terrible." And then you look at him now. He's like, "All right, he looks really good. Oh, he doesn't he look does. much different than he originally looked." Because so mm-hmm. it was some uh, time when you were like, "Yeah, it, something was definitely going on in his yeah. life at that you point." You can tell. Yeah. Um, so the package airs. He thanks everybody. He's all excited. He thanks the superstars waiting or sitting at the ramp. Um, and then uh, Joe comes out. I hate you. You know that? Why? Because I'm always right. You've just completely ruined Samoa Joe for me. Not because of uh, my basic observational skills? Yes. <laughs> because, again, <coughs> me being too dumb and thinking they're going to do something with him, and I'm uh, like, oh, he's just going to job to Jeff Hardy he now. He is. He will. So Joe comes out. And, and he's, he's so good like, on the mic. He got such a good promo. It, it's It's scary. <laughs> So he comes out and he... Uh, well, well, the whole roster was on the ramp. Yes. Yeah. And he... Uh, well, first, Shane tries to stop him. And Jeff's like, no, nah, let him in. Because um, he's not afraid of yeah. him because, you know, Joe's a bitch boy. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, Joe likes uh, tried to mention some of uh, Jeff's previous issues with yeah. uh, substance abuse. And Jeff's like, you know... Shit happens. Yeah. That's kind of yeah. what it was. Yeah, basically. Yeah. And then Joe was like, oh, I was going to come out here and have a drink with you, but we all know how that goes yeah. or whatever. Uh-huh. And then the worst part, for me anyway, uh-huh. is that now you know that AJ Styles is just a regular because he was on the ramp with the rest of them. He was? He was, yep. That's fine. I know. No, I know. It was I, just... I, to be fair, I think there's been times where Roman's been on the ramp yeah, for probably. stuff like that. So... Um, but it, uh, Jeff's like, come on, let's fight. And Joe's like, you know what? And he pretends to go and then <laughs> runs away like a little girl. Yeah, yeah. Everybody just moves for him to go. You would think the whole roster would have stood there. And yeah. I was like, no, you, uh, you started this. You yeah, go get go your ass in, kicked. Yeah. But nope. 
So, I mean, I guess that was good because that would have really buried them if the yeah, roster just uh, beat the crap out of them. <laughs> no, no, well, I meant go get trash. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. So basically, now we just have to wait two weeks. Yep. And or three weeks, mm-hmm. I don't know how long it is, and then yeah, he'll get his ass kicked. Yeah, yeah, that's that's gonna be a TLC match. <laughs> no, it won't be a TLC okay. match. It'll be it'll a tables match. match. I meant at TLC. Yeah, I'm sorry. It'll it'll be a tables match. I guess so. Well, Joe can't climb a ladder. He's too physically. <laughs> no, he, he he had a ladder match at the Greatest Royal Rumble. Okay. But did he climb the ladder? I believe he did. Did he successfully climb the ladder? I know no. the answer is no, because <laughs> Seth won. <sighs> no, because Joe hasn't won a title outside of the NXT exactly. championship. And so he it'll never be a will, table so. match, because he... Or no, it'll be the a chair. chairs match. <laughs> <coughs> that Jeff Hardy's going to weld all the chairs together to make a ladder for himself. Yeah, there you go. So, um, uh, so now that we've had that fun... <clears throat> Well, I was going to say, AJ comes out and he talks about how he's upset at Daniel Bryan. Mm. And then he challenges us to a match at TLC. Which was already made. I know. <laughs> it's, it's just dumb. But I guess they need to have them on TV. Daniel Bryan wasn't on TV at all. Mm-mm. No, you said he or AJ said. That he's not here. During his promo that he yeah. wasn't there. Yeah. So. He's he's. Um, and we're going to see Randy Orton and Rey Mysterio at TLC, I would assume. That could be a chair In a chairs match. match. That's and definitely that's, that's That'll chairs. be like uh, Baron Corbin versus Kalisto all over again. <laughs> Randy Orton had uh, Mysterio's mask that I guess he removed last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he got um, a good promo. No. He does, uh, he, he does his thing. Like I said, I really like the pair of the two of them. Yeah, it's because... Randy Orton actually kind of, I guess, respects Ray. That, and he looks like he knows how to... I mean, I know he knows how to work, but, yeah. you know. I mean, he's, him and Ray just... They look like they work well together, yeah. so... Um, Mysterio gets his neck, like, crushed by the chair mm-hmm. into the stairs. Yep. Um, I guess furthering. So, apparently at Starcade also, um, Mysterio had a match, even though he's wearing that brace still. Yeah. Him, well, him and Shinsuke were a part of Miz TV, yeah. and I guess it turned into a tag team match yeah, it was because Rusev and Mysterio, and Mysterio versus Miz, Miz and Shinsuke. Shinsuke. Yeah. So Miz is all over the place. <sighs> Doesn't make sense, nope. but I guess there was not supposed to be. Yeah. You know, or what they showed was uh, yeah. Was I, that right? Everything. All well, the I'm... good stuff wasn't shown. Well, like they Seth Kane? and Dean in a cage match oh, that at Starcade. That? that didn't get shown. But they showed. Joe and AJ. AJ. Yeah. So dumb. Yep. It's a good thing we didn't watch it, I guess. Nope. So, and unfortunately, the one other thing that happened was uh, the Miz uh, kind of, I guess they sow the seeds of the Miz's discontent with Shane. Um, Gonna happen. Because he said he's not a good partner. He's not good. He's not a good third of the best in the world. You know what? They're gonna fight over that trophy. They will. I know. You're not wrong. <laughs> no, You're not wrong. I know. So and it's gonna I hope be that, fantastic. I hope this match happens sooner rather I, I than later. I mean, it, it makes sense yeah. because I mean, you think AJ Styles, he's very good in the ring. When he faced Shane, you were wasting a good match out of AJ Styles since he's you know 40 years old. The Undertaker, well, that was just dumb. Uh-huh. And at least it's the Miz. I mean, you can get some entertainment out of it. The Miz, the Miz and Maurice versus John Cena and Nikki Bella was probably the best built thing. It was and very good. I'm not saying it while. wasn't. But if so you're robbing me of a good build. <laughs> I'm not saying you're robbing me of a good match. I'm saying you're robbing me of a good build. I guess that's true. Who did the Miz face this year? Oh, he was in that triple threat match or the. I see. Yeah. Right? It was him, and Finn, that and was one Seth. Of that was a good match. best matches. Yeah, that was ever. very good. Or was it just... No, him and... It was, it was, it was a multi-man yeah. match. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It had to be the three of them. Yeah. Because then, then they had they added Joe to the ladder match at the mm-hmm. Greatest Royal Rumble. And then at Backlash uh, was probably the Miz's best singles match ever. That was against Seth. Seth. And that's when you could have turned it off. Yeah. Right after that Oh, match. yeah. Because <laughs> that Backlash that was, was a pretty bad pay That was when Joe jobbed out again. Yeah, right. Didn't, yeah, it's yeah. true. He lost to Roman in a uh, what was it, the sleeper hold match or whatever we called it? The beat the traffic match. Yes, that's what it was. That, that is true yeah. as well. So, but yeah, it's bad. So SmackDown uh, was better than Raw, but yeah, old, not on par where it should be. Yeah, definitely with not. the talent they yeah. have. No, but well, granted, nope. technically with the talent that WWE has, every show well, should be all fantastic. Right, so, 
do you think NXT is failing to do its job? What? Uh, depends. Because the, is really the whole reason behind NXT is prepare everybody for the main roster. That's not true. No, orig- I, the original yes, reason. Yes, the original yes. idea. That is not what they're doing now. Anymore. Right, but as what what's happening, and this is the funniest part about it, <laughs> is that Triple H is trying to put on a very good product. Right. And Vince refuses to listen. Mm-hmm. That's what's going um, on. There was news that came out that more people watched Takeover than Survivor Series because take, well, the Survivor Series was pretty good. It wasn't bad. So yeah, I yeah. can't say that. But it take, was five hours long. Yes, but Takeovers are usually better than the two and a half hours we've yeah. done. They're better than the pay per views they're paired with. Yeah. So, I, I I'm not surprised by that at all. It was just a, it might have been the first time that had happened. But, it's it's possible, yeah. but. NXT is in a bubble. Yeah. That's that's oh, absolutely. That what yeah. it is. And as soon as Triple H takes the reins of WWE, assuming that this Fox deal doesn't ruin everything. It's gonna be interesting. It could it could be good, it could yeah. be bad. Well, we'll I see. saw news before, I don't remember the source, but it said that Fox wants Ronda Rousey on SmackDown. Which is fine. Yeah. Because if anything that might make it a little better. Because yeah, well, but because just... you're not restricted on who goes to Raw. All well, right. So you can move whoever you want. Which now <sighs> Raw is their A show and will always be until the SmackDown. I was going to say until until, Fox. Uh, yeah, I was yeah. going to say for another year it yeah. will be. So, I guess at the next shakeup, Ronda will go to SmackDown, which is fine. And then you can send Becky over to Raw. Yeah. To not have them together, because those that's you know it kind of be a waste to have them together all the time. Uh, that should be a. Although, uh, also, I think I heard that SmackDown doesn't want anything to do with Raw. Yeah, they want to be completely yeah, separate so, because uh, Fox, I guess, doesn't. Because there was talk about them and ending the brand split. Yeah, and then I guess Fox wants them to be completely separate, yeah, which, which makes it's sense. Good because and this is, it makes it look more like competition. Yeah, like You're it's actually different two different channels. things. Yeah. So I I like that idea. So it it. Long and, time to go. Yeah, I would imagine they won't kill the Survivor Series stuff. No, no, no. I, I would hope not, at the very least. But that would be a bigger build, you know, yeah, a it's more true. important mm-hmm. build if they actually put importance on it, and, not like this year yeah. with Shane McMahon completely yeah. forgot. So, so, and let's say for argument's sake, they do that for a couple of years, and then what? I don't know why. <laughs> it's right. It's very confusing. Um,. So they do this for a couple of years, completely separate, and mm-hmm. then all of a sudden they do another one of those under siege type things. Right. It's more impactful. Oh, absolutely. If, if yeah. you don't think it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. So. But yeah, no. They, I I hope they change everything. Yeah, it would be you good. Ha- you've got the money. Don't <laughs> give me that yeah, shit that you don't. <coughs> but I mean, you know, it's smackdown and raw is basically you change the red to the blue and that's yeah that's pretty much. It. It, that and the people that it are on needs it needs to be a different feel i would be fine if fox decided you know we're going to do the different the camera's different and things yeah. like that supposedly they want more seriousness yeah so they don't want the they comedy want it to be more of a sport but all you got to do is you got to put the new day on raw yeah and then have all the comedy acts on raw yeah well yeah but i mean i think they would need to do what <laughs> like when uh, TNA was on Fox Sports, they have you know they run it more like a, oh, yeah, a they, sports. They, they have the ticker the, going with past bottom. results. You have, I mean, we they don't even say how long a match is scheduled for, right? Well, we don't even get a, a twenty minute time limit or you, things like that. Do time they don't do that anymore. Often. No, but Usually I mean that's something that you know you got the, the yeah, ticker. That, but that's how you move it more into a sports-like yeah. show. And I guess a time limit for everything would make sense, even if you don't need one. Yeah. I think they don't do it strictly because there's no reason for it. Yeah. But I don't know how well wrestling will get treated, you know, if it's treated as a sport rather than a entertainment show. I, I don't it, know how it, well perceived it would be. It all depends on what Fox wants to do with it. It's true. Because if they push it enough, I'm sure it'll get some traction. So... Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. So, um, yeah, what are we, two weeks away from Survivor Series? Well, three, three weeks? I don't know. I think it's three weeks from Sunday. Yeah. Makes sense, right? Uh, 1, 8, uh, 16th. Two, yep. nine, 16. Well, two weeks from Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. 
Which, whatever. Yep, and I then guess. it's like a month and a half between that and the rumble. Yeah, yeah. and we have a dead period. <laughs> so I mean, hopefully Raw's not as bad next week. No promises. Uh, it's no two weeks in a row of crap. So as I'm not looking up. Nope. Oh. Whatever. Sounds like a good time to watch the Hulu version. Oh, yeah. Yep, it's true. All okay. right. So that was episode 21 of yep. our podcast. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.